way here in this 3000. And we've been debating these so the larger fields final, in the endurance finals. 12 up to 15 in the 3000. And that, that looks like a lot on your screen there, doesn't it? Than a slow field. Especially when they're running at a conservative pace here. Costa Costa and Costa 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 out of trouble, very wide there. Her teammate, and perhaps yeah, her yeah, biggest, biggest rival for this title, is pinned on the inside. If someone goes now, that suddenly makes that a very, very bad situation for Hannah Klein. Michelle Courtney Bright. There goes Corne. We saw her do this yesterday. The young shirt from Latvia straight to the front. 40 seconds through the first 200 metres. She waited two laps yesterday. Enough is enough. of Latvia again to the front. Silver medalist over 5,000 metres. Junior championships ran very, very well. World junior championships over the last few years. And women have got to pay attention. Gati Corne did this yesterday. She faded ever so slightly, but not significantly. She's not an athlete you want to let run down the track. And the Asmin Chan. Competition really brings out the best in the East. Just trying to reel her back in. 34 seconds in that there. That's very, very quick. The overall time still very modest. Marte Corne of Latvia means business. Thank you very much, and congratulations once again. Let's the rest of the athletes to make contact. So in here, so Rob, it's time to show your blood and show your support for your nation. She's in the pilot race on the best teams in the stand. So on it, you know what to do, you see? Well, as we were saying, very impressed with the attitude of Agata Corne after that really sedentary first 200 metres when nobody seemed to want to take up the running. Kaune suddenly made this a very, very respectable race and thrown down the gauntlet and they've got from the bunched up and out in lane four to running almost in single file around this Atapoy arena. Well, Corne, I have to confess, I don't have the Latvian record in front of me, but I wouldn't be at all surprised if she's having a go for it. Latvia has produced a couple of reasonable distance runners in the past, but uh, this could well be a tilt at a national record for Corne. Yasmin Chan tracking her, well, Chan just unraveled so badly over the final couple of laps in her heat this morning. She's looking as though she's now full of running once again. The two-time European 10,000 metre champion outdoors. She never looks as though she's really happy running indoors. And I don't think people are happy running close to her with that really exaggerated swinging arm style. You were talking about elbows flying. Well, she contributes to some of those elbows being thrown around, I'm afraid to say. But now it's Costa so Halpern straight to the front. She's decided, the well, with on the big screen, just under the rest of the men's high 10 high. laps to go, it's time to make a move. She's been to there for a kilometre, and it's time to for her to go. Finals. Chan, still in second place at the moment. Klein has covered the break quite nicely. She got herself out of that very box position from earlier in the race. And the pace is gradually getting faster and faster. Just 33 second lap at this point in the 3K. Oh, I was talking to Mr. Courtney Bryant, who had been in the fourth place at the moment, and we're over. And she said her and her coach were talking, and she's almost like Costa Halper strangles, strangles the field. She just ratchets up the pace five, bit by bit, and that's a really big injection of pace. Well, Sands at Costa Halper is asking massive questions of this field. The overall pace, 8.49, it had a slow first lap, but they got moving three minutes through the first kilometre. Yasmin Chan did their best to go with Costa Halper, but Hannah Klein and Melissa Courtney Bryant got a decision to make here. They've got to commit, get the back onto the back of Cluster Halpern. She can't maintain 30 seconds back in. That is too quick. And already it looks like Cluster Halpern has stepped off the gas ever so slightly. She's allowed Hannah Klein and Melissa Courtney Bryant back into the picture. Those three starting to separate themselves from the field. Maureen Costa of the Netherlands is a very gutsy runner. She's leading the chase pack at the moment. She's trying to close that gap up to Melissa Corbyn. Well, the pace has just got quicker and quicker, and it's now boiled down to three women at the front. And then a good 15-metre gap back to Maureen Costa, bronze medalist from 2017. And Costa 
now. Well, it's all starting to look as though these are the three medalists. Can Costa bridge that gap? Also in that group, Nadia Batacletti, the highly rated Italian, who was an Olympic 5,000 metre finalist two years ago in Tokyo. But Batacletti looks as though she's struggling a little bit as well. It's Costa Halfen leading Klein and Courtney Bryan. Costa Halfen, well, she's maintained the tempo over the last couple of laps. She hasn't increased it. And now she's put in just another surge. You can almost visibly see it. Courtney Bryant looking as though she's struggling to hang on there. Klein gritting her teeth. Which we've been terminating on her. Klein, she's staring at the heels of Costa Halford. She clearly came into this race with one goal. Do not let Costa Halford get away. Hannah Klein has got a great hit kick. So is Costa Halford. Yes, Costa Halford, championship record of Laura Muir's from Glasgow in 2019 of 8 first 61, disappeared out of some like that sluggish first kilometre. But Costa Halford now has just been surging and pulling the field apart. Looking at the faces of Klein, Klein is sticking to her task and staying with her. So to Courtney Bryant, although Courtney Bryant now just starting to slip away. But looking at the faces of the women in the pack behind them, from Costa to Batacletti, they don't know what's hit them. They're straining and they're grimacing. It's Costa Halford now with three laps to go. Costa Halford of Germany, she'll be able to send Hannah Klein on her heels. Hannah Klein so surely got to clip her teammate Constanza Costa Halford. The they Champions are just running so, Bryant so close to each other. Melissa Courtney Bryant doing everything she can to see in touch with these two. At this stage for Melissa Courtney Bryant, it's going to be just trying to pay attention to focus, concentrate, because if either of these top two have got it wrong, if they've stretched each other too far in their efforts to beat each other, Melissa Courtney Bryant could pick up the pieces. Maureen Costa of the Netherlands is fighting hard behind, but Melissa Courtney Bryant has got a buffer of around about 20 metres, 20, 30 metres on Costa. The battle is on for gold and silver. Costa Halfen does have a kick. She does have the track credentials to win. That's a good finish. That's now in the street. Very, very good final. this season. She picked up a bronze medal at these championships two years ago. And she has lowered her 1500 metre best. That medal came in the 1500. And she has run a better 1500 metre time than she ever has before. It's the bell. Costa Halfen is still in the lead. Can she might look like she was going to have a go? Getting past Costa Halfen. This is a battle royale between the two German athletes. No nation has ever. Well, Courtney Bryant stayed with the two Germans for much of that race, and I'm sure that towed her to a bronze medal. In the end, it was a wise tactic. She may not have overthought that as we look at Annalie Machal coming in in 15th place. Turk bringing up the rear, but a brave, brave run from her. Firstly, to make the final. As we were saying, the tragic story of her family being injured in the earthquakes. Direct family affected, their property destroyed. But at the front end, happiness and joy for Hannah Klein. And a personal best to boot.
There you see the delight that a gold medal and a personal best brings. And you have to turn the clock back no less than 37 years for the last time a German actually won the women's 3,000 metres. You might have thought that there would be a German winner in the mitten time, but you have to go back to 1986 and in is Benel Erster of the former GDR for the last German winner of 15 laps of the track at the European Indoor Championships. A wonderful photo, that's going to be on the front pages of all the German sports papers and newspapers as well as the many, many German running websites. What a terrific performance from both of them. Constance Klosterhaufen, in the end, just didn't have anything to answer for Hannah Klein's well-judged surge on that last lap. Was a good effort from Costa Halfen. I wonder if she'll think what could have happened if she'd gone a tiny bit early. Oh, oh thanks for coming. She looked brilliant yesterday. Close out the her in the 2.48k. I'm quite happy to be my shirt. It's a very swift final kilometre here as well. Even the slow first kilometre. Melissa Courtney Bryan is back on, on the European podium. Not first, not injury Turkey. issues for the British athletes. The this is just that last 30, 40 metres. Klein pulling out that 1500 metre sprint, sprint technique of hers. No chance of possible we getting back Greece, on terms of that. The national triple jump champion I think it was you that mentioned that uh, it was Kloster Halfen's fourth 3,000 metres in the last 12 days. I can only just speculate that if she had only run one race less, maybe she could have stayed with Hannah Klein. It's not Kloster Halfen's style, is it? <laughs> she loves her race, it's even yesterday. It was a fairly hard race yesterday. Hannah Klein kind of sat back and had the wind-up race. We were just going to think back to Turin and the European Championships. We had Costa Halfen in the second, and Nina Ray, Hannah Klein in fourth, meaning in fifth. It was a brilliant day for the German team. And to do this again here, it's really, it's really great for the team. They've got a really good number of athletes. Competing very well at a European stage. It was a bit of a... Weak World Championships for the German team. And we're all there sitting there. We were thinking we really hope they've saved something. They certainly have. Uh, they certainly have many of these best performances there. And they've done so again here. Winner of the women's 3,000 metres, Hannah Klein in a personal best of 8.35. Constanza Klosterhalfen with the silver medal at 8.36. And Melissa Courtney Bryan in bronze at 8.36. Max Hirsch. Hannah Klein in fifth as well for Hannah Nuttall getting a personal best of 8.36. Hannah Klein in fifth as well for Hannah Nuttall getting a personal best of 8.36. And a shout out in fifth as well for Hannah Nuttall getting a personal best of 8.36 there as well. Bracketed by seasonal best for Maureen Costa and Nadia Batacletti. So even though there was quite a bit of distance between the three medalists in the chasing group, some excellent times posted by the women outside of the medals. And completing the lineup in this men's triple jump final. Just think back to that first kilometre, it just was not that quick. <laughs> somehow.